Chris and Lean Plus Lifestyles. Okay, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a very clean, gluten free crumble. Okay, so I've got a saucepan, and in that saucepan, I've got a little dash of water and I've got some frozen blackberries. Okay, got an apple. Apple and blackberry is a winning combination, isn't it? Right, so anybody who doesn't know how to core an apple, Quickly and easily, okay. So get your knife. I don't know if you can see that. Let's have a look. That's a bit better for you, okay. So you get your apple, cut it in half, okay. Cut it in half again, so you get a quarter, cut it in half again. Put your knife at an angle and then slice down on this cord. Slice down, slice down. Close down. So there's your core, all done, and then you can just chop it up as and when. You don't get any of the core. In. Of course, it wouldn't be a crumble if it wasn't big chunky apples, right? Okay. Get your stevia. Just want a teaspoon of this in there. I'm going to put a bit of orange extract in here, just a touch. And a little mixed spice. Just a touch to taste. You cook that down, see you in a minute. Okay, so the, now the key for a good crumble is, so you don't want to overcook your food, you just want to be cooking this uh, maybe for two or three minutes, just so it still stays quite chunky. Right, okay, we're cooking this for about two minutes, so that's what you want. Nice. Can you see that? Get a tub. Put it in. Leave that to cool now for around half an hour. Exciting bit of the crumble. Okay, so in this bowl I've got 35 grams of gluten-free porridge oats. I've got 10 grams of butter. And you literally just want to put, put it in there. A quarter teaspoon of stevia. And again, you mix spice. Touch of brandy. And a little glug of maple syrup. See you in a moment. Okay, so this is the fun bit. Mix it all in. You could put a little bit of um, gluten free flour in this as well. And you just bring all the mix together. Now you want this to be quite clumpy. You want it to be quite um, almost flapjacky. This would this will be. Um, so you want the you want it to almost be like a, a crunchy buttery biscuit on top of your fruit when it goes in. But you also want the sweetness. This is what your crumble mix will look like. Okay, get yourself grease proof and put it on the tray. Spread it out. And you want to bake this in a relatively hot oven for about 10 minutes. Okay, here we go. Fresh out of the oven. <clears throat> so there we are. Here's your crumble top. 
and I think you'll enjoy what's going to come next. So I think you'll all agree with me, uh, no crumble would be um, complete without a custard. Now the sort of custard that you normally get in a tin, um, full of sugar, full of preservatives and it's generally not good for you. So I'm going to show you how to make a very very quick, simple, homemade custard. You want seven fluid ounces, okay, in my little gay cup here like this. Okay, so you need seven fluid ounces of almond milk, coconut milk, whichever milk that you choose to use. Put it into a pan. <clears throat> and you want to bring this up to a very, very gentle simmer. Um, add You know I love my teaspoon of stevia. Just a small teaspoon of stevia. <clears throat> the good thing about this as well, you can flavour it to however you want. So you can put um, chocolate in it. You can put um, you can put vanilla juice plus in it. Who knows? Chocolate juice plus in it. You could also stick orange extract in it. You could put coconut in there. Um, you can do it to whatever flavour you like. <clears throat> You want to get two egg yolks, I've already got mine here, you want to get rid of the whites and you want to get the yolks but make sure you, you whip up the eggs. Right. You don't want to throw a whole yolk in there without whipping it up, just in case you don't, um, that's what I'm looking for, just in case you don't stir it quick enough you'll end up with scrambled egg in there and you don't want that. <coughs> Right, she's just about ready. After your crumble mix has cooled down, it's going to look like this. You don't worry about having a little bit of water. You'll see why that's good in a minute. Okay, find yourself a whisk. Just before it starts really boiling, you want to turn it down, control that heat. And simply, just a little bit at a time, add in the yolk. That easy guys. <clears throat> okay, so for the serving, you get your apple and black currant, blackberry shawl, should I say, in the bottom. A little bit of that sauce, that liquid. Just round the side, beautiful. Bit more. Drizzle that around it as your custard. Course, a nice crumble on the top. Beautiful. And there we have it. Clean apple crumble. So if you're hot or cold, that's your choice. Enjoy. <laughs>